Hello everyone, welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. I think, can we do something with the window? We can. And we apparently have to. Last time we walked- Later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. You would uh. have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. As I was saying, last, uh... She was the one who named it Molly. Uh, last time we walked there... I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We were a cat. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. So we are now in Grandma Edie's room. Um, who had a thing for birds? Apparently. So what can we find here? Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Oh, dragon kills Finch. Tragedy strikes Finch family. Is this Norwegian? Am, am I that stupid that I just realized that we're Norway? Makes sense. Edie won't go. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. 27-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. Uh, the mysteries of death and thereafter. Murals, sketches, Molly concepts. That's a lot of books. What is that there? Built 1937, Sven Finch. All right. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. You're as young as you feel. You're as old as you feel. What's the saying? That's... That's some wormy... Uh, oh my god. That's a fluffy, car fluffy carpet. What the hell? That's not in the game. Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Oh my goodness, yeah. It is really pink. Big trace. It's really pink, isn't it? What is this? Oh, another area thing. What is the painting? There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Ah, uh, I like that. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. That's so cool. And we end up inside the wall again. This house has a lot of inside walls. Inner walls. Calvin Finch. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. So is this a, a dark room? Not that kind of dark room, the f photo dark room. Mitten. Chair. This is not really well hidden here, this, this entrance. Or exit for that matter. No, it isn't. It's just there. Whose room are we in right now? Twins? Sam and Kelvin, alright. Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. To command center. Oh, look at that. This is army and this is all space. That's why Sam is a soldier and Kelvin is an astronaut or cosmonaut if you're Russian. That's so cool. It's divided. I like it. But let's head into the command center. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. He only turned 11? Oh wow, that's way too young. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. We're on a swing. 
Should we swing? Oh, we can swing with both legs. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Oh, that's so sad. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Are we going to fly? I get the feeling that we will be. <laughs> they sound. Day, he finally made up his mind to do it. They uh, they sound really Scandinavian. Going around was impossible. Okay, so let's go Maybe around then. Oh. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Is the. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Is the branch gonna I break? He's already made up his mind. We're going really That's high. What I want to remember about my brother. We're going really high. Oh, we made it! Oh wow! The day he made up his mind to fly. I am flying. That's so cool. Well, cool. I mean, he probably fell to his doom. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Okay. So that was the story of Calvin. I, I guess. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Pretty sad at the same time. Fort Sam. Fort Mom Calvin. Mom Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, what is this? That's a caterpillar. Oh, look at that! Why is this so awesome? I love houses that are built like this. I do. Kind of reminds me of the true house, that building uh, that was built by, I believe it was a woman. Um, and she went insane and she kept on building and building and building. More rooms, more hallways, some with crooked perspective even. And a lot of dead ends and stuff like that. That house really exists. Were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. What is what is here? Okay, so that's that is one exit, but I want to try this first. This is probably a shortcut because we are now here again. What is this? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara's movie star. Shall we go into Barbara's room? Shall we go into the attic? You know what? Let's go into Barbara's room first. If we still can. Yeah, we can. Oh, dear. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Wasn't she a child star? Seattle Starlets? It's a lot of... A lot of folders. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. The child stars? Yeah. They have it really hard afterwards because... Expectations are pretty high. She only was 16. Dreadful stories. Guest starring ba Barbara Finch. About Barbara's death. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here with another oh, ghastly Jack tale. Here yep. With another ghastly tale. 
inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. American family? Weren't they Norwegian? A child star. Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <coughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. I did. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Okay, so the story became interactive all of a sudden. <laughs> she found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Why, why do we hear the Halloween tune? Or Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield. Why? That's a creepy owl. Well, it is working. The atmosphere is a little bit icky bicky. Do we need to get the plank out of the way. Oh, we need to hit it. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Okay. Ugly owl, why are we here? Why are we looking for a serial killer? In our own house? Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Well, here we go again. <laughs> Why is the entire house dressed up? 
uh, in, in Halloween. Is it Halloween? Probably is Halloween. That's a rollerblade that fell down. Why did that fall down? So many questions are arising. So little answers to be found. Well, vanished. But his bedside radio is still on. Orca's Island Police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Another way out of here. Alrighty then. Is there a pathway? A secret? It's a nightlight. Oh, here's something. We're in Molly's room. Okay, he fell down. But she sensed this story might not be over yet. All right, let's go and investigate then. Because why not? Why shouldn't we check out on the creepy burglar with a hook for a hand? Bet you a hundred dollars that he's gone. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... The doorbell. Who would that be? Who is this? Hello? She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise! Bravo! You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> oh, well, there's her ear. So that's the story. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, probably. But really happened to Barbara then? Was she murdered by her boyfriend, Rick? Huh. <laughs> 